Back here, a man caught with rifles and explosive material in a car in Santa Monica just hours after the Orlando massacre remains behind bars this afternoon. But as KCAL 9's Dave Lopez reports, it's still not clear what he was planning to do. Still no explanation from law enforcement why 20 year old James Howe had in his car three assault rifles, high capacity magazines, and chemicals that can be used to make explosive devices. But the FBI could file federal charges on him for allegedly having that arsenal in his car and do it soon. Somebody is trying to get into my house and banging on my door and nobody has any business with me to come at 4.30 in the morning. This woman did not want to be identified. According to sources, Howe told police he had just arrived by car from Indiana. He was looking for a male friend because the two of them were going to go to the L.A. Pride Parade in West Hollywood. And he said he simply had the wrong address. I'm lucky to be alive today. She called 911, unaware that Howe had been knocking on other doors in the neighborhood besides hers. But there are two glaring questions still not answered. Santa Monica police did not release any details about this until hours after it happened. In light of what happened in Orlando, why such a long delay? And their police chief, who was out of town, Jacqueline Seabrooks, put on Twitter that Howe, during the investigation, had said to officers he wanted to do harm to the gay pride event. It wasn't until hours later that Santa Monica took that statement back, saying the chief was given wrong information and Howe said no such thing. According to Indiana state records, Howe, last October, was found guilty of pointing a gun at two people. Part of his probation, he's not supposed to have any weapons. He now sits in the L.A. County Jail, his bail, a half a million dollars. From Santa Monica, Dave Lopez, KCON 9 News.